Well, I think first of all that my role and the role of the board is to execute in favor of all, execute a plan in favor of all the shareholders, irrespective of where they are, what they're coming from, and what their original intention is. We are here to deliver values, so to grow the value, to benefit all shareholders. We wanted to act as a, as a public company would do, in the interest of everybody taking the responsibility to deliver and execute a strategic plan, and that's what we are aiming at, and that's what we are working on. So uh, I'm really out of uh, that, let me say, what you call a war. I don't, think, I don't see a war. I see someone uh, being uncomfortable, uh, like Vivendi, uh, spreading uh, rumors and news that are not accurate because they are uh, obviously part of the uh, board. We are executing a, a plan that has been devised and approved by them, actually promoted by them originally. And uh, they also have their representatives on the board, including the uh, very much appreciated by us, the, the uh, CEO of the company. So uh, I see this as a uh, let me say, uh, a storm in a teacup, if I want to say. And yet, sir, the shares in Telecom Italia have performed badly. Uh, they've only been um, worse outperformed on the downside by British Telecom, which is replacing its CEO, Gavin Patton, of course, at some stage. Do you feel that the strategy is the right one? And if so, why are the shares falling so precipitously? The strategy is right if you can, if you can execute it, and if you can have the things that we were supposed to deliver in two years' time, and we were aiming to do that. But we only had four months of experience, and most of the time has been spent up until now in uh, responding to queries coming from the outside world, why we should be concentrating in executing and delivering the things that we have to do. And likely enough, the board is geared to do that, and that's what we want to do. Is the board and the CEO on the same page and we know that uh, Amos Ganesh was called to the board to explain some of his words and criticisms because uh, he believes that not everyone on the board has been working in the same direction perhaps there's been some briefing against him as well is he the right man to execute the job? I, I think he is the right man and there is no such thing as a, a concern about his capability but we need to see him delivering things and our board activities should be addressed in that point of the deliverables that up until now they are not yet achieved. But there are plenty of things that we are now moving on and, uh, and I'm pretty sure that this will be uh, positive results for the future. I mean, he's only human and yes, he's there to execute, but if he feels that people are briefing against him from within the own company as well, he, he, was, he did react to that and that was the wrong thing to do. So. My role is to concentrate on the things that we had to deliver yeah. and that's what I think the board members, all the board members, are supporting me in doing this. What, what about the pace of that restructuring? Let's talk about that, sir, as well, because I mean, although that has been where some of the criticism has been, um, has been uh, shown towards the company as well, the fact of the matter is it, there is a time frame. You said yourself, you know, we've got two years plus out of the original three years to get this done as well. What is the priority? Is it, is it splitting off the businesses? Is it selling off certain assets? Or is it growing organically? It's a combination of all of these things. First of all, we continue to be the number one in the market. Uh, we have seen a new competitors showing up mm. with a bit of a red carpet uh, to him that we didn't receive. We have to break this siege that we are on, uh, regulatory, uh, market conditions, and our ability to promote uh, new products. We are the number one, and we will continue to be the number one in that. Mm. We're spending quite a lot of money, almost two billion euros on uh, every year in uh, developing new new products and and the next the next challenge will be to get the uh, new frequencies the uh, auction for 5g is coming this is one priority mm. separation of the grid is the second priority that we have announced we have to deliver uh, the third one is to deleverage deleveraging is very very important to us and uh, deleverage means increasing the flow, the flow of cash coming in and at the same time possibly dispose of the so-called non-strategic assets. 
That's what we are doing right now. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.